Hello, Katji here from followkatji.com. So I'm going to check. Hello, hello, who is with me today? Yes. So I'm going to share my fan page. Yes, it's done. So who is with me today? So today we're going to talk about some tips to um, create breakthrough to be able to um, improve into your business and to uh, to get to your goals and to help you build something concrete that uh, is going to help you. So tips to create breakthrough. So one person is with me. Who is it? So just waiting for a few seconds. So when you want to start a new business or if you want, if you have a, a dream, something you really want to do, a goal that is big enough that you want to achieve and sometimes you realize it might be not possible because it's maybe too much for you. What you have to do, and that is the first tip I would give you, is just take massive action. Don't put yourself behind a computer, don't put yourself behind books trying to find a way to uh, to do what you want to achieve you have to take massive action massive action means getting out of your comfort zone learning a lot training a lot and get to the point get to a level that you want to uh, to grow into your industry that you want to build your business so at the start it's not going to be perfect like the first time i did my videos was a disaster so i get better every time so you have to take massive action and that is the first thing you have to do if you want to change something in your life if you want to achieve your goal you have to take these actions this massive action as i said it doesn't have to be perfect at the at, at the start because it's always um I mean, it's always very hard to get out of your comfort zone. First, you don't know how to blog, you don't know what to do, but if you don't take these actions, you're not going to uh, fulfill your dreams and you're not going to build your business. So take this massive action, don't be afraid. Everybody started at one point, so just do it. Push yourself, be yourself, don't try to be someone else, just be yourself. Don't. Um, don't look at everything you're doing and say, oh, it's not good. I'm not going to put this Facebook Live, for example, on my wall. It doesn't matter. You'll be better. And people want to see real people in front of you. They don't want to see someone fake. So that is important that you do take massive action. It's not going to happen in one day. It's not going to happen in a week. But all your hard work, and I, I mean, I can't vouch for that all your hard work will pay so you have to take this massive action so that is the first tip second tip be part of a community and that is very important that you are surrounded with like-minded people with people that is going to help you to improve you can ask for example in the community that i have um we ask if our ads is okay if they think that something else should be added or stuff like that so it's important that you are part of a community because you cannot and that is something i did for a long time i tried to do everything on my own because i was maybe too afraid to ask for help i was too afraid that my questions were too um immature or uh, was wrong but now that i'm part of the community i i mean i'm i just ask my questions i ask if my ads are okay i ask if everything i'm doing is fine and then i get help so it's important that you're part of a community and no question is stupid we all started we all made mistakes and that's why it's important if you have this community that will help you to improve so that is my second tip be part of a community and especially if you are uh, with people that are leaders, you can ask how they started, what they did, how you could do, what you could do to improve your business. And uh, that is very important. The third one would be to do your daily personal development. And that is important, especially when you are in network marketing or, or if you start a business like 
to sell my own line of project. I mean, it was hard as a start and I needed to read books. You need to do videos to motivate yourself because sometimes you just say, oh, it's too much for me. So that is important that you do your personal development daily. Like I always say, do 10 minutes in the morning when you wake up, just go and get, um, you know, you, you are thankful of your day, you do your affirmations, you, you think that you are good at what you're doing and what you want to achieve and the universe is good and it will, it will get back at you. But, and don't be um, too selfish. Don't try to do everything on your own. You have to share and that is important that you share your knowledge as well. So just communicate with people, do your daily uh, development. So then you'll be able to, um, to be better to, because you'll be motivated. Some days, for example, I kind of feel like, oh, I don't want to do anything. And then as if you follow my, my life, you know I love Tony Robbins. So I just put a motivation video on Tony Robbins and then boom, okay, I'm starting my day. So that is important that you do your daily motivation, everyday development. Don't need to be an hour or two, just a few minutes, 10 minutes, but concentrate. Do your, um, your meditation. Think about what you want to do during the day. Write notes, uh, put you know every day what you want to do on your board, on a copy, just write and then stick. Do your hard task in the day at the start because sometimes you say, oh, I'm doing a blog and then it's five o'clock and you didn't do your blog, so, but it was important for you to do the blog. So start to do your daily tasks uh, that are hard for you, that you are struggling at the start. So that was my third tip, daily uh, personal development. The fourth one would be to brand yourself and that I don't say that enough. Brand yourself, not the company you're working with because you never know. You're no, you might not stay with this company and then what? You built all your relationship uh, through this company and then if you want to change, if you want to do something else, you're not going to be, um, how do I say, uh, credible. Okay, so that's important that you brand yourself. It's you. I mean, you do your work. It's not the company doing the work. So you have to brand yourself and that is important that you do it because people will see you, the, your face, uh, your blogs and not the company blogs. So that's why it's important that you brand yourself and you bring content. And uh, so that would be my FIPS tips to create content and promote. That is important that every single day you put something on your Facebook um, profile or your fan page or your Instagram or Twitter, depending which platform you're using. But it's important that every single day you bring something of value to your uh, audience because I want to see that you are someone that is uh, following up and not doing maybe one video and that's it for two weeks. They don't see you and they don't know what's going on. So they want to be able to, uh, to know you because uh, I think it was seven times. People have to see something seven times before they make up their mind. So if you are uh, doing videos every now and then, or if you bring uh, content and you don't put anything, then people will forget about you. And same thing with uh, Facebook or all Instagram. If you don't do content every single day, your audience is not going to see your content because the algorithm is different and because um, the more you put on your uh, profile, the more Facebook, Twitter, or even Instagram is going to bring, uh, to show your content to your audience. So that is important that you do that. Then uh, that was a sixth one would be get the right tools. And that is important that if you want to start doing blog, that you have a blog done. If you have, uh, as I always say, make a list. The list is very important. The um, email address you get from people, that is your list, that is your money because you'll be able to, um, to send email uh, nearly every day if you want or every two days, whatever. So you need to have an autoresponder. I use a Weber, so um, there is MailChimp. There is different autoresponder, but I do use autoresponder, uh, the a Weber, and I try to contact my list nearly every day. It can be something that I, a video I see that I like. So it's not only business wise; it's different all the time because you don't want to put business all the time on your list because if they didn't, um, you know, click on your link or whatever, so it's going to be repetitive otherwise. So you have to change. You have to put something personal. You have to put something about 
or the video motivation that you're doing. It can be something that uh, you, uh, pictures that you liked. And uh, then, for example, I did my Aweber today. We have um, a free training tonight. So I said, if you want to, uh, to be part of this free training, um, by a coach, uh, when on coach, then you can uh, click on the link. So it doesn't cost anything, you know, it doesn't have to be something that you're selling all the time because your list is not going to, you know, to appreciate all the time to have something that they have to pay. So you have to bring content, you have to give them something. So then they'll, uh, they'll appreciate you as well. So as I said, um, uh, I do videos. Uh, when I watch, for example, uh, Tony Robbins, I like it, boom, I send his video. So it doesn't cost much. But then people are happy maybe to see this video and uh, you ask if they are happy, then they reply to you and then you build relationship. So that's what's important. So the autoresponder capture page as well is very important and that you have it depending which community you are with. But you can have the capture page so it's easy done and then the people click on it, they go on your link and you get their email address. So that is important. You have the right tools. If you have Instagram, it's the same thing. I like, I use Word. Word swag, yeah, word swag for to do my pictures. I like it, and then you know, people see my pictures, but they see my name, they see as well my uh, watermark because it's important that you put always your name or your your um, your blog or something that people will recognize your picture and they see who it is as well. So I uh, make sure that every time you post a picture, that they have something uh, from you. It can be your blog, it can be your. Um, your link something that they recognize that it's you so it's important that you do that so then number seven teach others and that is always what i say if you are bringing content and then you have a team you have to teach them you have to 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 show everything you learned so far everything you did and then you are going to teach people and then this way they are going to bring back something for you as well because I mean, uh, mar um, network marketing or relationship is all about giving something to receive something. But as I said, it's a long process. It's not going to come overnight. You have to uh, be consistent and you have to uh, to make sure that you bring content, good content to your uh, audience all the time. So then they'll be coming back to you. They'll, they'll for example, videos, they'll look at your video or they look at uh, your email. So it has to, uh, you have to bring content and good content and teach others doing webinars. Uh, I, ne I didn't really do webinars. I have to do one because uh, I know a lot of people are asking me to do one, but it takes a lot of time as well. And with all everything I'm doing, like, I don't know if you're watching that, if you watch my other videos, I have my own brand of uh, skincare projects now. So I'm doing a lot of videos about them. It's what I did today. I did three videos. So I'm trying to do everything step by step. But if you have something that you want to share, do it, teach others. And that is important. Then uh, number eight is take ownership and responsibility. You have to make sure that it's you. You are the one doing the work. You have to take ownership of everything you're doing and you have to take responsibility because you have, might have objections and that is something that we have. People are not happy or sometimes uh, they don't trust or don't believe what we're doing is the right thing, you know? So you have to take responsibility of everything you're doing and you have to believe in yourself. And that is important that you believe in yourself. We are not doing the same thing. Everybody is different. Some people prefer to work uh, nine till five. Some people prefer to, uh, they have children at home, they want to stay home and they want to do a part-time job and they, they want to do network marketing. So everybody is different, but you have to take responsibility of everything you're doing and take ownership. That is important. And the number nine is never quit. That is something that you have to do because a lot of people, when they start something and then they, when they have objections or they have some step back, they just quit. And that is something that unfortunately a lot of entrepreneurs and that's why there are not so many big entrepreneurs in the, this world because at the first uh, step back they quit so you have to make sure that you do um, you do follow your dreams uh, okay it might not happen tomorrow but you have you are learning all the time you are training all the time and everything all everything you learned it's going to be something for you for the future so nothing is lost and everything you learn it's going to come back to you at one point. So that is very important that you never ever quit. Okay, so that was my um, 
what I wanted to say today. So I'm going to repeat the nine tips, take massive action, and that is important, you do, you do take massive action. Behind, if you are behind your computer or watching videos, you can do a million of trainings. But if you don't take action yourself, you're not going to grow up. You're not going to have an audience. You're not going to be known because you can do many trainings. You can stay and do a million of trainings. And then if you don't put your knowledge out there, you're not going to, uh, to have an audience and you're not going to build your list and you're not going to have anybody with you. So that's why it's important that you take massive action, even if it's out of your comfort zone, if you, if you think you're too fat, you're... Your, I don't know, there are so many reasons that people find not to uh, do anything, you know, you always find an excuse and that is something, we always find an excuse not to do it, but if you take massive action, it's going to be hard, don't get me wrong, it's not going to be an easy thing, I mean, doing the videos, doing blogs, I mean, I have maybe 170 blogs now, the first blog, I'm telling you, it was like really crap, but... I did it and then I got better and better and better. So you have to push yourself if you want to be an entrepreneur. It's not, it's not easy, but it's so well rewarding. I mean, everything I did so far, I don't regret anything because it brought me to know people that I would have never imagined talking to. It uh, brought me to, uh, to improve myself. And then that's how I got with my partner uh, that is going to, uh, we are going to do our Rivia wellness together because I was putting myself out there. If I just was behind my computer and training and doing a lot of knowledge, but not putting myself out there, I would have never known her. So that's why it's important that you're pushing yourself and get out of your comfort zone and uh, do uh, things that Maybe you think it's not good, but who cares? They want to see you. You have to start. You, I mean, you're not going to be an expert at the first video, at the first blog, at the first ad. You have to to be an. Uh, you have to push yourself and making sure to um, to uh, build relationship, and that is important to build relationship with your audience. Hi, Brandy. How are you? Hi. So that's why it's important that you are taking massive action. That is the first big tip and something that is so important after branding yourself. Branding yourself is something you have to do. Don't stay behind the, the, um, the project or the company you are with because one day you don't know what can happen if you don't brand yourself. You're going to uh, lose all your um, credibility with your um with your um audience thank you yes great so part of the community as i said be surrounded with like-minded people and that is important because what you're going to do is you're going to ask them don't be shy always ask if you don't know something if you have doubt ask them. They did that before you and they will be able to help you. So being part of a community is very important. Don't stay behind your computer thinking, oh, I, oh this question is stupid. Or, oh, oh no, I'm not going to ask that. You have to ask because that's how you're going to improve. So very important to be part of a community and then ask uh, as many questions that you can, you know. So brand yourself, get the right tools, autoresponder, CRM, which is the customer relationship management. And that is important because that's how you're going to get uh, your list and that's how you're going to get the emails and that is what you're going to promote So as I said, don't promote every time don't give all the time all the time something that they have to, to buy Just give them some knowledge as well something um, a free ebook or you can give them uh, just a video uh, Just for to help them for the self-development and stuff like that So that is important that you change all the time. Don't don't put always uh, something that they have to buy or a link or something that they have to um, to buy, you know? So that is, can be very annoying as well. So that's why it's important that you change all the time your emails. 
uh, uh, for example you can share as well some other trainings on people that you just watch and you can uh, just send them a training so it's free for them and they're happy because they are going to get value out of it and it doesn't cost much so or nothing so that is very important and then uh, so daily personal development important important thank you Randy very important that you do that that is something that I didn't do I just started maybe back in last September uh, doing some meditation first I was like well I'm not going to do that like I can't put you know I couldn't put my my head I was so many things in my head hi Gigi so uh, doing meditation just calm yourself even my kids are saying mom you're so much camera now and i'm like well it's just because i see life differently hi alma hi so that's why it's important you do some meditation or even if you don't want to do meditation but you take 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes in the evening just to rationalize just see what you did during the day what you want and be thankful and that is very important and it's what i always say i'm so grateful with the life i have now i'm being in jamaica uh having found uh, my uh the the formulator for the project i was always i always wanted to share for everybody and I met this amazing person Genevieve that is my partner now I have my friend Susan that you see sometimes as well that helped me to understand because she did a business and I was like I want to do that how can I do so she helped me and that's what I'm saying I was saying at the start you have to be part of a community it doesn't have to be part of a, a training community but if you are surrounded with like-minded people if you're surrounded with people that have the same um, will that, that want to improve that want to do something and that's why I always say you are the average of the five people you are around most of the time so if you are with people that are very negative you're going to be negative if you are with people that are positive and push you or are in entrepreneurship or they elevate themselves and they do a lot of things to to be better you'll be better if you are with people that are negative all the time or put you down you want and you quit and that is that is a fact so if you have around you people negative or they don't bring you anything and they don't believe in what you're doing and that is important because sometimes you have even family members that don't believe what you're doing but then just push them aside for a while and then when they see that you're succeeding well they will say well maybe she was right doing that because that's i mean my family is the same they don't they don't know they don't oof, I'm, I'm always on, on facebook what i'm doing i'm playing on facebook all day long so when i have now that i have my project I can prove them wrong and these people are going to uh, come to you so that's why it's important that you do that that you stay with positive people and you surround yourself with positive people thank you Randy right on yes yes that's I mean it's amazing how when you put aside people that are negative or don't believe in what you're doing you'll see you as I always say the universe is good and they'll I mean, they show you, they bring you people in front of you that before you might not have seen them. But when you open up, when you look at uh, other people's, what they do, and you want to be part of this community, then you'll be better. And then you, you'll feel and you'll fulfill your dreams. So that's why it's important that you are surrounding with positive people. Then teach others. Uh, make sure that you bring knowledge that you always bring content and then your uh, audience will appreciate what you're doing for them always try to be available most of the time and then uh, help them if you can don't uh, build relationship and that is very important is what I always say just did a great video on this also <laughs> I love it yes so that's why it's important that you do um, you do uh, teach and uh, help people because and don't expect anything back you know and when you do promote don't send your link and that is something I don't like you know when people just say or they ask you for friend requests and so I always say thank you for the friend request and if I don't see many mutual friends I just wonder where they're coming from and then straight away they send the link and that is not working out because it's very annoying first of all we don't build relationship I don't know this person I don't know why or even sometimes and that's why it's important when you have your profile make sure that you have your um, 
that you review all the time on your timeline who is posting because before I had people just tagging me and then on my timeline I had their business I mean that is not good that is just spamming so that's why it's important you do your Facebook timeline as well to make sure that people are not tagging you and that and you review every time someone um, put something on your wall if you want to hide it or not so that is important hi Cornelia hi nice to see you so I'm nearly at the end <laughs> so you can see the replay so take ownership you're good I mean everything you did so far you did it for yourself you did it for your family you did it for uh, your friends for to help everybody around you yes you're hoping on late <laughs> So that's why it's important to take ownership. Okay, maybe one day you are not in good form, you didn't really do a very good video, but who cares? We are all human beings and we do mistakes. We are tired sometimes, so we are, you know, we are not, uh, you know, 100%, but you have to put yourself out there and take responsibility of everything you're doing and never quit. That is something. I mean, I did a few times, I was say, oh, my husband. Is it worth it? Will it be worth it? All this money, all that, all this training, all the time I spend and this and that, is it worth it? But now I know it's well worth it because now I know it's going to really, really work out for me. So it took me three years before when I was spamming groups, when I was uh, only branding the, the companies I was with and my life changed last September when I decided to brand myself because I knew something had to do I had to change something in what I was doing because branding only the company then it didn't work out well I mean I didn't lose money but I didn't make money and I wouldn't be able to do anything and I then I wanted to have my own skincare I wanted to have different things I needed to do much training even doing videos and doing this and that so um, it has to you have to brand yourself don't brand the company please that is something that you shouldn't do I see too many too many posts about uh, the companies and not branding yourself and you're good doing video you'll be good doing it every uh, you know being yourself out there don't need to put always uh, in front of everybody only the company you have to brand yourself you're rocking it my friend you're a superstar I love listening to you thank you Brandy really appreciate that thank you very much so that's it for today I think I talk a lot uh, I'm very today I mean I did three videos for my skincare and uh, from the first of May uh, there'll be a, a draw as well to win something uh, project so depending what type of skincare you are and uh, so I'll put that on my Facebook uh, page as well. So I'm working, that's why you might not see me a lot uh, doing, you know, uh, on Facebook, but then I'm working a lot offline just to push my uh, project. So thank you again. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate Brandy. Thank you so much, Cornelia, Gigi, Alma. I didn't see everybody that was on, but thank you guys. And I'll see you certainly tomorrow and um yeah tomorrow i don't know what i'm going to do but we'll see <laughs> and um love you guys bye